Yeah, I'm going to say praise Zanana and to you how I'm going to share my show with Clark Kardash. Dublin has to be a pastor today, lads of Grateful Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and out there pushing the truth in our sincerity and all honesty. Shalom also to the few sisters. Yeah, this is a brother from a dream, so I'm Jamaica Cam. I'm Yashamai. Ashar. I war. I don't want to touch upon you know, this article that we see. You know, in, uh, Jamaica Observer. You know, about you know, marriage, you know, in this time we're living in. And, you know, you know, society or this Western world, you know, the mindset of this Western world, you know, the whole feminist, you know, ideology. So, you know, we so far now, right, you know, and you know, you know, people say what they want to say, I've said them feel for say, right, in the society, but you know, I can't do, you know, what the scripture say, you know, whatsoever thing was it, and poor time was it for learning, you know, but then in the ancient time, you see how women back then they actually didn't know them purpose, right, and know, say, ah oh, man, because a woman is supposed to have children and all these things. Actually, actually, they know them thing, but for us to know, it's a total different thing. And we, we understand and we know that, you know, um, all this is happening right now, they're they going to become a, a time now in the near future when all these things are going to basically, you know, um, get done away with all together. Because the whole Bashim is going to destroy the society all together and set back everything in the right and proper order how things are supposed to go. Because everything is going the opposite way right now. Right? I can't do what the scripture says. Can I bring up a scripture in. Um, Psalms, remember the Psalms um, 82 and verse 5. Yeah. The whole earth is out, of course. Because everything is going the opposite way right now. Right? This is confusion to the highest level. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It says Psalms 82, verse 5. So they know not, neither will they understand. Done. They walk in darkness. They walk in darkness. So, you know, people in this society walk in darkness. Ignorance. The they walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Yeah, all the foundations of the earth is out of course. Everything yeah, is out of order in the society. Total chaos. Living in Babylon, especially over this Western world. And we, you know, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, we're coming to the, the end of this madness. Right? This is what we're seeing happening right now in the cross of the world. All the prophecies and all the things are popping off right now. You know, listen, you know soon and very soon, all the madness you know, of the society, especially the Western world, is coming to an end. And everything is going to set back and flow the right and proper way, supposed to be basically, you know, um, flow you. Know. Right? Why, brother? Um, I can't. So, the article from the um, Jamaica Observer. It's an article from Jamaica Observer, um, January 15, 2024. It says, Marriage and motherhood, no thanks. See? That's the sentiments of, of most of these young women nowadays. Oh. Yeah? Yeah? Um, it says here, it says, My womb is not for rent and I am protecting my mental health by not sharing my life shackle shackle to a man legally <laughs> then, yeah. Yeah, because then, I can't I can't the east side um, can. you know put a ring on the finger that's what that's it basically actually yeah. she become a wife but scripture you know go totally opposite of this way of life right I tell her, because the word married means what? The giant. Can. Right? Yeah, I always have to give us guidelines on how things which are done in the years center. You know, the father, you know, our uncle, we're in charge. We could say, the, because by right, the father is supposed to give over his daughter, according to what we in the scripture. Can. Right? In the years center, that's how you are done. But living in this society, you know, it's got to do what thou will. Right? And he saw we have a country. Contrary to the opposite, um, the way of the Heavenly Father. Right, go on, scripture. Give me a scripture in, um, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, um, 7, what? What? Uh, verse 26, 20, 25, I think. Ecclesiastes, what about now? 7. 7 and 26, I think. Um, this is Ecclesiastes, 7. Verse 
24 say as though as as though daughters have a care of their body yeah, because that's how in the ancient time how things usually done right the father one is supposed to you know um, watch over him daughter right i can't do it in the scripture because the father is the head of the house but the father for to know in this society you know because the father that's basically part of the curse too i can't do it in deuteronomy 28 and verse and verse um 50, 55 or 54 you can't you can find a curse brother i'm gonna quote you wrong much? Yeah. Okay. 56. Just say one of the woman. No, that's it. Says, um, Deuteronomy 28 and verse, I'm starting with the says, So that the man that is, that, is, that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom Done. and towards the remnant of, the child, of his children which he shall leave. So, a part of the curse, so the reason why. You know, in the society today, in you know, the majority of the household, you know, amongst the so-called niggers, especially so-called niggers, um, Latinos and Native American Indian, um, a woman are basically a lead the household, or, or, or the father basically in you know, the majority of the house because they go back to the curse. Right? So you have a broken home now because a man is supposed to be the head or be the leader of your family. Right? But in the society today, it's the opposite. Because you all go back to the curse, and even the father. <coughs> Right? So but then, you know, um, they have, you know, fathers in the house. A father basically know them duty what they're supposed to do as a man. Right? Not like in the society today. You know, because it's in the society, you know, the society really teach us you know, how to be a man. Because we live in a feminist world. Right? Go on, brother. Back to that scripture. We finish? We finish? Uh, um, back to Ecclesiastes 7, verse um, 24, the rich. One. Verse 24. One. It says, As though daughters have a care of their body. Yes, yeah, so the father is supposed to watch over them daughters and mention. Go on. And show not thyself cheerful towards them. Go on. Marry thy daughter, and so shall thou have performed a weighty matter. Go on. So this is the right way of things supposed to be done. I can't work in the scripture. Right, go on. It says, but give her to a man of understanding. So give her to a man of understanding. What? Say, as though a wife after thy mind forsake her not, but give not thyself over to the light woman. Right. So, in ancient times, so, so in back in ancient times, things was not like now. Right, you never have so much problem amongst your soul, amongst you know, amongst the family. Right, because you know, the, the, the Esau uh, way of life, right, this is why you have all these problems right now. Right? Go on, brother. Okay. Go, on. Go on, brother, back to that scripture. It says, uh, back to the article, yeah. it says, um, it says here, it says, we will not make the same mistakes our grandmothers made. Have out your lot. No sane woman is doing that nowadays. It says the group was small. It says um it says it says marriage and kids are such 1980s concept. Yeah. Those concepts don't vibe with today's economic or social realities. Mm. Yes. Modern world. Right? Give me the scripture brother now, Jeremiah. Um Jeremiah 21 and 22. This is Jeremiah 10, 31, verse 22. Right. It says, How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord had created a new thing in the earth. So the scripture said, The Lord had created a new thing in the earth. So the living father one would you know, make all these things happen right now. You know, basically, we, as the Israelite men, so called niggers, Latinos and Native American Indian men, you know, for our punishment, we transgress the laws and statutes and give to us. So this is a part of our punishment. So it's because the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. What? Go on. Created a new thing in the earth. What? 31 and 21. 32. 
himself, for the Lord had created a new thing in the earth. What? A woman shall come past a man. So a woman can come past a man, meaning basically go around. Right? So this is why I have all these things happening now, you know, have all these, you know, um, madness, you know, especially over this Western world. Right? right? Woman choose who they want to marry. Right. So they have much confusion. Um, so we can basically learn. Yeah. Because people say, oh, oh, what wicked is our caricus? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Go on. The God of this world and blind in the mind. Blind in the mind. So yeah. them say, as Peter said, they put this bottle, the bottle to them to their mouth. Um, I make them drink. See? So they feed upon upon the, the world Western philosophy of things and how the so called white man wants it to get done. Yeah? yeah? And we know we understand we know that you know we have certain women that get um you know deliver from it, the destruction about the place. And it hurt because it, it was with this that you know, certain women are get deliver, deliver, you know, basically, you know, born back uh, up. So, who they decide can born back you know, in the kingdom to come. Because people say she shall be saved in child bearing. So, yeah. certain women are get deliver from all these things to come. But you know that majority not going to get it to. Right? In, in, um, in Timothy, so, some are already got a side to say that. Majority but, but. God, we have so called white man. This feminist belief. Every in the West, especially in a time like now. But as I mentioned, even the Father both put an end to all the madness of this world. Right? The confusion and the madness of the society is coming to an end very soon. Right, go on. Um, this is First Timothy 2, verse 15, go on. as I mentioned. It said, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved. In child bearing. So she shall be saved in child bearing. See, a certain woman will get delivered in the days to come. What? If they continue in the faith. If they continue in the faith. So they have to continue you know, on this part. Yeah. Right, go on. And charity and holiness with sobriety. Right. Right. Um. So all the madness we hear, they must spew out of them out and I say, hey, you know what? End of the day, right? When all hell break loose, you know, they will fall in. Who will fall in? They're going to fall in order, naturally. Society starts to break down and there is no police, they have right. chaos all around, then they're going to really need a protector. Yes, and a provider. Like more precious than that, Hey, that, that scripture comes to mind. So now they will say anything at all now. Because they have, they have basically freedom to say what they want to say. But in the days to come, it's going to be totally different. You. Right? Because people say the Lord said, I'm going to make a man more precious than fine gold in those days to come. Talking about elect. They're not talking about a regular man because the regular man is going to bug out. When shit hit, hit the fan, they're gonna bug up. Right? Come brother. Isaiah 4 verse 1. It says, And in that day seven women shall take all of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Yes, take away the reproach. It's gone. Right? And in this case, no man can by your name. Yeah. By marriage. Yeah, that's how a woman calls by a name. That's, that's how a woman gets a name. Yeah. By marriage, not the marriage of the society. <coughs> well, where you saw her put a ring on the finger and you know, call your wife. No. Giant. Giant. Right? That's how you usually go back there. The ring on the finger thing, that basically you eat on, you eat, you eat on the nation and, and custom. Or oh, ring on the finger thing. Tell them the scripture how it is done back then. As a brother, I'm not going to the scripture. Right? Married chamber in um, Tobit. Right. So they say even back then, uh, 14, 14 days, you know, the, mar the marriage um, fees take place for. Right? Yeah. Um, that's what they finish? Oh, no, come on. You have no one, Isaiah 13 uh, and 12. Isaiah 13 verse 12. What? So I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Because this is what the scripture says. By right? the days to come, you know, the Lord said, I'm going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Right? Talking about the men of the Lord, the elect. Right? Because, you know, the regular man is going to bug up because they don't know what to do. I'm confused. Right? Mm. Skip that to them, I walk, 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 walk like blind men. They don't know where to turn, where to do. 
body healing. We're going to stay firm. Right? The scripture says, wisdom and knowledge are going to be the strength and stability of that time. Whatever the stability go back to a stable. So the wisdom of Yahweh, Ba Hashem, is going to make the men of the Lord are the healing, stay firm in the days to come. Right? Because in the days, all about the healing. So the scripture says, Lord, I'm going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wage of Orphir. So imagine the days to come out of place. Right? Go and bring that back to the article. Yeah, when you take it in the most, I put a spirit up on the moment. Yeah. yeah. But them have this mentality to say, I don't need a man. Yeah. Because guess what? You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, them get on a high pedestal, you know? And they might call themselves Miss Independent and all of that. They might tell themselves, we don't need a man. See? So you see, when that day they come, they might bring a soul loan. They might go shame. Yeah, that's what I said. Let us be called by that name yeah. to take away our reproach. Yeah. Our reproach go back to us. Khan or disgrace. It, right? It says, um, the article says, it says, the group was small, but the, the sentiments expressed by the 15 young women gathered in from in, informally before the start of church. And, and, and you know, in church this service. <laughs> You hear say? In church. <laughs> right? And you know in this society, you know what I'm saying? If you want to according to this society, if you, want to, uh, if you want to find a good woman, you have to go to church. And this is what basically <laughs> takes place in a church. And so-called churches. Yeah, no matter of fact. The mindset of the woman. The mindset of the, the woman. But church. Huh? Right? Because they don't come and believe in you know, amongst for people out here in Jamaica. If you want to find a good woman, you have to go to church. Go get a, get a wife. But this is what takes place at church. So-called church. Huh? Yeah. Right? Church. Okay. Church services in Fort yeah. Moore a couple weeks ago are reflective of what has been the tune of social media mm -hmm. in discussion with young women and even noted official statistics. Young women are turning away from marriage and motherhood. <laughs> oh, I don't do what no will. So they don't want to tie down. Freedom for do what no will. Give me that scripture, brother. Um, Ecclesiastes 26 and 10. Ecclesiastes 26 and 10. This is Ecclesiastes 26 verse 10. One. If thy daughter be shameless. There's a reason why the scripture, you know, says certain things are supposed to be done. Right? And we today, we're living in Babylon, we are learning certain things here. Why the scriptures say certain things here? Because we see the opposite our happen when we don't follow the weird even the father. I've got the scripture earlier, and people say, Oh, we kill these characters. So this is what the scripture says. If thy daughter is shameless, I will live in our society today. The majority of the women are shame, especially the young girl, no shame at all. Oh, you hear what the scripture says right here? Right, read again, brother. If thy daughter be shameless, Go on. keep her in straightly. Keep her in straightly. Go on. Least she abuse herself through over much liberty. Least she abuse herself through over much liberty. So the freedom when they get to do what they want to do now, I say what they want to say, they want to abuse themselves because naturally they need guidance. Go on. Right? They need somebody to steer them in the right direction. What you know? He said, I eat them. I lead them in the wrong direction. That's the reason we have all this madness taking place now. Yeah. Right? Because the, the, the father was supposed to, that the house, I set the example, or, or, or lead him, lead the household. That will really take place in the society. So the person leaves, she, she abuses herself to over much liberty. So they get freedom for doing what they want. That's the reason we have all these problems. So it's the reason why the scriptures are supposed to do certain. So you can keep the order, right? Keep everything you know, in the right order, everything after the right way. Right? It says, um, <coughs> let me just finish up a little It says, um, various factors contribute to the trend, including changing societal norms, um, increased focus on education and career, pursued economic um, considerations, and evolving um, perspective and personal fulfillment. Explain, Council David Anderson, who confirmed that he has also seen this trend 
in his own church, churches, youth groups. See? Many young women today prioritize independence, personal growth, and career achievement, influencing their um, decision about marriage and motherhood. Yes. Independent career. Uh, the Romans say they must put them career first mm. and all of that. They must be independent. They need, up, they need to become a mother now. They need to live them life. <laughs> my brother? Yeah. Micah 7, verse 10. And she that is mine enemy <coughs> shall see God, it. Says said, she that is mine enemy. Right, because I can't do in the scripture. Oh, Genesis, I think, Genesis 3 and 16. You say, um, last, uh, people say, matter of fact, bring it up, brother, and go back to that. I want, want, want to bring a point from it. Genesis 3 and 16, and we can, we can go back to that scripture. Genesis 3, verse 16. One. And to the woman he said, I'll greatly multiply thy sorrow. Well, going back to Genesis, right? So, so the Lord said, I'm going to greatly multiply your sorrow. Right, so it's a part of the curse for the even the father put upon the woman them. Right? He's like to man and also to eat any woman. And he's going to treat also from them time. Go on, brother. And thy conception in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. That's the reason why they make, they make so much noise. You know, when they have to do it. You can't go back to Genesis, the curse. Right, go on. And thy desire shall be what? to thy husband. Go on. We go on, sir. And he shall rule over thee. So a man is supposed to rule over a woman. Right? Supposed to be the leader of a woman. She can the Latin of the army. The order of things supposed to go. Back to the no, hold on, hold on. Things, things. She can the order of things supposed to go in um, Genesis. Uh, Genesis, um, First Corinthians. Uh, Levin uh, and Levin and she. Get the order. Do you talk to brother? Yes. Corinthians. Live. Mm -hmm. What? What I would have you know, First Corinthians 11 and verse 3. What? But I would have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach. God, so the head of every man, right, is the how shy. Who the world ignorant? Who the world ignorant? Jesus. Yeah. Right? One. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. So the man is supposed to be the head of the woman. This is the harder. Set. Right, go on. And the head of Yahawashai is Yahawa. Right. So the head of Yahawashai yeah? is the Heavenly Father. Right, the Haitians of this. Yahawa. Right, this is the harder. Right. right, so back to that scripture that I read now, brother. Micah. Right, so a man supposed to be a, 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 the head of a woman, supposed to rule over a woman, but in the society now, we're living in right now, you saw you don't give them freedom to do what they want to do. So they can't say anything they want to say and do what they want to do. So they're not following us. Right, they're following who you saw either. Right? Go on, brother. So, Micah 7 and 10, then she that is mine enemy shall see so it. So you must say, she that is mine enemy. Because they become our enemy now, because they're not following us, they're following the Esau. Our enemy, right? Them giant hand in and they know our enemy by right? the so-called white man, right? Go on. And she that is my enemy shall see. What she has got to see? She the destruction of the society, the chaos all around. No police, you know, no more 991 can call for rescue, right? Total chaos will take place, and they're gonna need, you know, a protector. As people say, a man shall be an hiding place from the wind and from the cover. Right. Right? So they must see the destruction of the society. Go on. Um, <coughs> shall see it, and shame shall cover her. And shame shall cover her. That's the reason why the scripture says, in um, we better bring out earlier in um, Isaiah 4 and 1. So say, Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, our scorn, Done. our disgrace. And shame will cover them. And all the things that they've been doing in this society. Right, go on. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is thy Lord, thy, where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her, now she shall be trodden down as mire of the street.
street. Yeah, so I tell them I'll get destroyed in the time of the COVID. I brought low. I brought low. Very low, them pride. I, I get, get this destroyed too. Yeah? Alright. Give me um, one more scripture. Psalms 110. And verse 3. I close up with that one. Psalms 110. And 3. Psalms 110 and 3. Says, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So thy people are going to be willing in the day of thy power. When they see our power. Right? Because even certain men, when this truth is going to receive spiritual power in the days to come. So they are willing to follow our harder. And our lead. But so currently now they don't want to do it. Because they don't see our power right now. They see so called white man power. What the scripture says, thy people are going to be willing in the days of thy power. They are going to be willing to follow our harder. And our way in the days to come. One. Gone. In the duties of holiness Gone. from the womb of the morning, Gone. thou hast the dew of thy youth. Gone. So that may I say all praises and honor unto you, Barashim, Yahushai, Barashim, Bakar Kodash, and double honors to the apostles, to the elders of Whitman Stone. Shalom to all the brothers in out there. Shalom also to the few sisters. Yeah, we are almost out of this society. Yeah, shalom. shalom.